As someone who has spent decades studying success and personal development, I've come to understand that one of the biggest obstacles standing in the way of our dreams is ourselves. Yes, you heard that right. We are often our own worst enemy when it comes to achieving our goals and living the life we truly desire. But don't worry, you are not alone in this struggle. In fact, it is a common challenge that many of us face. The good news is there are ways to overcome this and get out of our own way. In today's message, I will be sharing five powerful strategies that can help you break free from self-sabotage and start making progress towards your dreams. So if you're tired of feeling stuck and ready to take control of your life, then this video is for you. By the end of it, you will have a clear understanding of what you need to do to turn things around and start living the life you truly deserve. So without further ado, let's dive into the five ways to get out of your own way and achieve your dreams. Starting with number five. The fifth way to get out of your own way and achieve your dreams is to practice self-care and self-compassion. You see, we live in a society that glorifies the hustle and the grind. We are constantly bombarded with messages that tell us to work harder, push ourselves to the limit, and never take a break. And while hard work and determination are important, we often forget the importance of taking care of ourselves. Self-care and self-compassion are not selfish acts. They are essential for our well-being and success. As the saying goes, you cannot pour from an empty cup. If you are not taking care of yourself, how can you expect to give your best to your dreams and goals? So what exactly is self-care? It is simply taking the time to prioritize your physical, mental, and emotional health. It means listening to your body and giving it what it needs, whether that be rest, exercise, or a healthy meal. It means taking breaks when you need them and not feeling guilty about it. It means setting boundaries and saying no when necessary. It means treating yourself with kindness and compassion. Now, some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I don't have time for self-care. I have too much to do and too little time. And to that I say, if you don't have time for self-care, then you are doing something wrong. You see, self-care is not a luxury, it is a necessity. And when you prioritize it, you will find that you have more energy, focus, and productivity to tackle your goals. But self-care is not just about taking care of your physical needs, it is also about taking care of your mental and emotional well-being. We live in a fast-paced world where stress and anxiety are at an all-time high. And if we don't take care of our mental and emotional health, it can hold us back from achieving our dreams. So how do we practice self-care in this aspect? The first step is to be aware of your thoughts and emotions. When you are feeling overwhelmed or stressed, take a step back and assess the situation. Is there something you can do to alleviate the stress? Can you delegate tasks or ask for help? Or do you simply need to take a break and do something that brings you joy? Another important aspect of self-care is self-compassion. We are often our own worst critic, constantly beating ourselves up for our mistakes and shortcomings. But self-compassion means treating yourself with the same kindness and understanding that you would show to a friend. It means acknowledging that you are human and that it is okay to make mistakes. It means forgiving yourself and moving on. Now, some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I have big dreams and goals and I can't afford to take a break or be kind to myself. I need to be tough and push myself to the limit. And to that, I say, it is time to change your mindset. You see, self-care and self-compassion are not signs of weakness. They are signs of strength. It takes courage to prioritize your well-being and to show yourself kindness and understanding. Think about it. When you are physically exhausted and mentally drained, how can you expect to give your best to your dreams and goals? How can you expect to have the energy and drive to pursue them with passion and determination? It is only when you take care of yourself that you can truly show up as your best self and achieve your full potential. 
Moving on to number four. The fourth way to get out of your own way and achieve your dreams is to surround oneself with positivity. We live in a world where negativity surrounds us. We turn on the news and we are bombarded with stories of violence, tragedy, and despair. We scroll through social media and we see people comparing themselves to others, feeling inadequate and unworthy. We have people in our lives who bring us down with their constant complaints and pessimistic outlook. And worst of all, we have our own inner voice, the voice of doubt and fear that tells us we are not good enough, smart enough, or capable enough to achieve our dreams. But I am here to tell you that you have the power to change that. You have the power to surround yourself with positivity, and in doing so, you will pave the way for your own success and happiness. So how do we do this? How do we surround ourselves with positivity in a world that seems to thrive on negativity? The first step is to take control of your environment. This means being intentional about who and what you allow into your life. It means cutting out toxic relationships and limiting your exposure to negative news and media. It means creating a space that is conducive to positivity, whether it be your home, your workplace, or your social circle. The second step is to cultivate a positive mindset. This is not something that happens overnight, but rather a daily practice. It starts with being aware of your thoughts and consciously choosing to replace negative thoughts with positive ones. It means focusing on gratitude and finding the good in every situation. It means surrounding yourself with positive affirmations and reading books and listening to podcasts that inspire and uplift you. The third step is to seek out positive people. They say that you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with, and this could not be more true. Surround yourself with people who support and encourage you, who believe in your dreams and push you to be your best self. These are the people who will lift you up when you are feeling down, who will celebrate your successes with you, and who will remind you of your worth and potential when you forget. But perhaps the most important step of all is to become a positive person yourself. As Mahatma Gandhi once said, be the change you wish to see in the world. If you want to surround yourself with positivity, you must first embody it. This means being kind, compassionate, and uplifting to those around you. It means being a source of light and positivity in a world that can sometimes feel dark and hopeless. Now I know what some of you may be thinking. This all sounds great in theory, but how do we actually put this into practice? How do we find the strength and motivation to surround ourselves with positivity when negativity seems to be the norm? Well, my friends, it all starts with a choice a choice to take control of your life and your thoughts, a choice to seek out positivity and reject negativity, a choice to believe in yourself and your dreams, no matter what anyone else says, and most importantly, a choice to take action and make changes in your life that will lead you towards a more positive and fulfilling existence. I'm not saying that this will be easy. In fact, it may be one of the hardest things you ever do but I can guarantee you that it will be worth it. When you surround yourself with positivity, you will see your dreams and goals become more attainable. You will find yourself feeling more motivated, inspired, and confident. And you will attract more positivity and abundance into your life. My challenge to you is this. Take a good look at your life and ask yourself, am I surrounding myself with positivity? If the answer is no, then it is time to make a change. It is time to take control of your environment, cultivate a positive mindset, seek out positive people, and become a positive person yourself. Now to number three. The third way to get out of your own way and achieve your dreams is to take action and be consistent. Now, I know this may seem like a simple concept, but let me tell you, it is one of the most powerful tools you have in your arsenal. 
You see, dreams are not achieved by sitting around and waiting for them to come true. They require action, they require effort, and most importantly, they require consistency. One of the biggest mistakes people make is waiting for the perfect moment to take action. They say things like, I'll start tomorrow, or I'll wait until I have more time. But the truth is, there is never a perfect moment. The time will never be just right. You have to create the perfect moment by taking action now. As the saying goes, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. So what does taking action look like? It means setting clear and specific goals for yourself and then taking the necessary steps to achieve them. It means getting out of your comfort zone and doing things that may scare you. It means being willing to fail and learn from your mistakes. It means being proactive and not waiting for opportunities to come to you, but rather creating your own opportunities. But taking action is not enough. You must also be consistent. Consistency is the key to success. It is the glue that holds everything together. You can take all the action in the world, but if you are not consistent, you will not see the results you desire. Consistency means showing up every day and putting in the work, even when you don't feel like it. It means making sacrifices and staying committed to your goals, even when it gets tough. Let me give you an example. Imagine you want to lose weight and get in shape. You start off strong, going to the gym every day and eating healthy. But then, after a few weeks, you start to lose motivation. You skip a day at the gym, then another, and before you know it, you're back to your old habits. This is where consistency comes in. If you had stayed consistent and continued to put in the work, you would have seen the results you desired. But because you lacked consistency, you fell back into your old patterns. Consistency is not always easy, but it is necessary for success. And the good news is it is a habit that can be developed. Just like going to the gym and working out your muscles, you must also work out your consistency muscles. Start small, set achievable goals for yourself, and stick to them. As you build consistency, you will see that it becomes easier and easier to stay on track and achieve your dreams. Now, I know that taking action and being consistent can be challenging. We live in a world where instant gratification is the norm. We want results, and we want them now. But let me tell you, success is not a sprint. It is a marathon. It requires patience, determination, and most importantly, consistency. So, how do you stay consistent? The first step is to have a strong why. Your why is your motivation, your reason for wanting to achieve your dreams. It is what will keep you going when things get tough. So, take the time to identify your why. Write it down. Put it somewhere you can see it every day and let it be your driving force. The second step is to have a plan. As the saying goes, failing to plan is planning to fail. You must have a clear and specific plan for how you will achieve your goals. Break your goals down into smaller, manageable steps and create a timeline for when you want to achieve each step. This will help you stay on track and make progress towards your dreams. The third step is to surround yourself with the right people. You become the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So surround yourself with people who support and encourage your dreams, who inspire you to be better, and who hold you accountable. These people will help you stay consistent and on track towards achieving your dreams. And finally, the fourth step is to believe in yourself. You are capable of achieving anything you set your mind to. Believe in your abilities, trust in the process, and have faith that you will achieve your dreams. As Henry Ford once said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Now to number two. The number two way to get out of your own way and achieve your dreams is by setting clear and achievable goals. Now I know what some of you may be thinking. Goals? That's it? That's the big secret to success? 
But let me tell you, my friends, setting clear and achievable goals is not just some simple task. It is a powerful tool that can transform your life and lead you to the path of success. But before we dive into the power of goal setting, let me ask you a question. How many of you have dreams? Dreams that you have been holding on to for years, maybe even decades. Dreams of becoming successful, of living a fulfilling life, of making a difference in this world. I'm sure most of you have your hands raised right now. But here's the thing, my friends. Dreams are just dreams until you turn them into goals. Goals are what give your dreams direction and purpose. They are the stepping stones that will lead you to your ultimate destination. Now I know some of you may have tried setting goals in the past and maybe you didn't achieve them. And that's okay. We all have experienced setbacks and failures in our journey towards success. But let me tell you, it's not the failure that defines us. It's how we respond to it. You see, setting clear and achievable goals is not just about writing down a list of things you want to accomplish. It's about having a plan, a roadmap, and the determination to see it through. It's about taking action, even when things get tough, and staying committed to your goals. So, how do we set clear and achievable goals? The first step is to have a clear vision of what you want to achieve. Imagine yourself in the future, living your dream life. What does it look like? How does it feel? The more vivid and detailed your vision is, the more motivated you will be to achieve it. Next, write down your goals. And I mean physically write them down. Studies have shown that people who write down their goals are more likely to achieve them. Writing down your goals also makes them more tangible and real. But here's the key, my friends. Your goals must be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. This is what we call the SMART criteria. Let me break it down for you. Specific. Your goals must be clear and well-defined. Instead of saying, I want to be successful, say, I want to start my own business and make a profit of $100,000 in the next two years. Measurable. Your goals must have a way to track your progress. This will help you stay motivated and see how far you've come. Going back to our example, you can measure your progress by tracking your monthly profits. Achievable. Your goals must be realistic and within your reach. Setting unrealistic goals will only lead to disappointment and discouragement. It's okay to dream big, but make sure your goals are achievable with hard work and dedication. Relevant. Your goals must align with your overall vision and values. Ask yourself, is this goal important to me? Will it bring me closer to my dream life? If the answer is no, then it's not a relevant goal. Time bound. Your goals must have a deadline. This will create a sense of urgency and push you to take action. Going back to our example, you have set a deadline of two years to achieve your goal of making a profit of $100,000. Now, I want to emphasize the importance of setting achievable goals. Many people make the mistake of setting too big of a goal, and when they fail to achieve it, they give up. But let me tell you, my friends, small goals lead to big successes. Think of it this way. If you want to lose 50 pounds, you don't just wake up one day and expect to lose all the weight. You start by setting a goal to lose five pounds in a month, and then another five pounds the next month, and so on. And before you know it, you have achieved your ultimate goal. The same goes for any other goal. Start small, and as you achieve each goal, set a new one that will bring you closer to your ultimate dream. This will not only keep you motivated, but it will also build your confidence and belief in yourself. Lastly, my friends, I want to remind you that setting goals is not a one-time thing. It's an ongoing process. As you achieve your goals, set new ones. Keep challenging yourself, keep growing, and keep moving forward. Now the one you've been waiting for, the number one way to get out of your own way and achieve your dreams. Now I know what you may be thinking. You may be thinking, Jim, there are so many different ways to achieve success. How can you say that there's a number one? 
Well, my friends, let me tell you, after years of studying successful people and their habits, I have come to the conclusion that the number one way to achieve your dreams is to identify and challenge your limiting beliefs. You see, we all have dreams and aspirations. We all have that burning desire within us to achieve greatness, to leave a mark on this world. But oftentimes, we are the ones standing in our own way. We have these limiting beliefs that hold us back from reaching our full potential. These beliefs may have been ingrained in us since childhood, or they may have developed over time through our experiences and interactions with others. But regardless of where they come from, these limiting beliefs are like chains that keep us from soaring to new heights. So, what are these limiting beliefs? Well, they can take many forms. They can be thoughts like, I'm not smart enough, or I'm not talented enough, or I'm too old, or I'm too young, or I don't have enough money, or I don't have enough connections. These beliefs may seem harmless, but they are the very things that hold us back from taking action towards our dreams. They are the voices in our heads that tell us we can't, we shouldn't, we won't. But I am here to tell you, my friends, that these beliefs are not facts. They are simply thoughts, and thoughts can be changed. You see, our thoughts create our reality. If we constantly tell ourselves that we are not good enough, then we will never be good enough. But if we challenge those thoughts and replace them with empowering beliefs, then we can achieve anything we set our minds to. Now, I know that identifying and challenging these limiting beliefs is not an easy task. It takes time and effort, but I promise you, it is worth it. So, let me share with you a few steps that you can take to identify and challenge your limiting beliefs. The first step is to become aware of your thoughts. Pay attention to the thoughts that come up when you think about your dreams and goals. Are they positive or negative? Are they empowering or limiting? Once you become aware of your thoughts, you can start to question them. Ask yourself, is this thought true? Where did it come from? How is it holding me back? By questioning your thoughts, you can start to see that they are just thoughts and they do not have to control your actions. The next step is to replace those limiting beliefs with empowering beliefs. For example, if you have a belief that you are not smart enough to achieve your dreams, replace it with, I am capable of learning and growing. If you have a belief that you are too old to start a new career, replace it with, it's never too late to pursue my passions. By consciously choosing empowering beliefs, you are reprogramming your mind to think positively and take action towards your dreams. Another powerful way to challenge, but rather on a limited perspective. Lastly, surround yourself with people who believe in you and your dreams. We are greatly influenced by the people we spend the most time with. If you surround yourself with negative, limiting people, you will start to adopt their beliefs. But if you surround yourself with positive, supportive people, you will start to believe in yourself and your abilities. So choose your inner circle wisely. My friends, I want to leave you with this message. Your dreams are possible. You have the power within you to achieve greatness. But in order to do so, you must identify and challenge your limiting beliefs. Remember, thoughts are just thoughts, and they can be changed. So, choose empowering beliefs. Look for evidence that proves them right, and surround yourself with positive people who believe in you. And in doing so, you will pave the way for your own success.